Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! I know a lot of you were expecting the theme deck video today, but those videos take a couple hours longer to make, which is time I just really don't have right now, because I'm working on the Paper Mario finale and the Pokemon No Leaf, uh, Pokemon Leaf Green No Pokemon Center Challenge finale, both at the same time, so it's just a couple hours that I just don't have to spare right now. So we're going to do the Mythical Pokemon Collection for Mew this time. It's got the crazy holly you see here, this Mew pin, and two Pokemon Generations packs, which is a different set that I've never opened because it's pretty much new to these products and there's no booster box for that set it's only like an 80 card set so it's not a huge one but it's there and i don't know if i'm gonna go crazy and buy a bunch of these mew collections like some people have done because they're gonna release more products over the coming months that all have the generations packs in them so maybe at some point I'll go back and buy a bunch more to get more packs, but for now, I think we're just gonna buy the products as they come out, and we'll go do it like that. And I cannot believe I'm just absolutely destroying this box to get these guys out of here, but that's what we gotta do. Oh, there's also a piece of paper inside here, so let's go and check that out. And it looks like it might be some kind of checklist, so it's the Celebrate 20 Years of Pokemon thing, and it says right here. Yeah, these are some more of the products that are gonna be coming out. Charizard EX, Venusaur EX, Pikachu EX, and Blastoise EX, so we'll all be opening all of those when they come out. And here's all of the Mythical Collections, so I'll be opening all of those when those come out as well. Right now it's just the Mew and the Celebi. I think Jirachi and Darkrai are next, I think this is gonna go in order. So yeah, that's gonna have two packs of Generations each, so there's gonna be a lot of ways to get this set. So I'll be opening those as they come. And it, okay, it says right here that it contains over 110 cards, but I think that might be including the Reverse Hollows. Not really sure what's up with that, but let's zoom back out here, and let's take a look at some of these Mew promos. Let's look at this one first. Yo, this actually is a really nice looking card. Let me see if I can actually get a good focus on that. Look at that guy. It's so rainbowy. It's even got a rainbow in the background. It's got Psychic, it's got Clairvoyance, X and Y promo 110. There's so many X and Y promos, but I love the full art holographic. I love that they're doing full arts with more classical style art instead of like the crazy 3D you see on all the EXs. So that's really cool to see. Really digging that card. Also, we do have the silly one. I'll probably do this one next week or something, but yeah, we'll get to that. All right, let's take a look at this pin. And as I mentioned in my last video, uh, the pins for this collection are actually a lot bigger than the other ones. Like, here's a Rayquaza, and there's the Mew, so it's actually quite a bit bigger, and I'm actually liking it a lot. I mean, it's just a standard Mew look, but I think it works. It looks good. All right, guys, let's get to the packs. There's only two packs inside these Mythical Collection packs, but... Oh, well, we've got a Blastoise and a Charizard right here. So let's go get to them. The other standard, they're the uh, 10 additional game cards. It's got the Pokemon 20th Anniversary logo right there. Let's see on the back if it says anything fancy. Probably it's going to be the usual spiel and all that. Yeah, but there is going to be a Mega Venusaur, Mega Blastoise, and Mega Charizard EX inside these packs, potentially it looks like. So let's go ahead and open this Blastoise one and see if we can get any of those. I would love to see Venusaur the most. Uh, Blastoise is my second favorite and Charizard's my third. Now, it looks like there's no code card on these. Not even sure if the card trick is the same, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And let's go look at the front. Wow, that's a brand new style to these things. Yeah, look at That's what I was saying. It's 83, so I don't know where they got the 110 from, unless they're counting reverse hollows. But there you go. There's a really cool-looking water energy. We have a Ghastly right here with some sleep poison. That's very nice. We also have a Krabby, the happiest Krabby. I don't know if these arts are based on previous Pokemon arts, but I do know that this set very heavily is, uh, I think it's pretty much all Generation 1 Pokemon, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's keep going. I had a little bit of dirt under my thumbnail, so I removed that. All right, here we have the Krabby, of course. Another energy. We've got the double energy pack here. We've got an electric energy, and the reverse hollow is a Diglett, which I don't think that's a throwback to anything. If anything, that's a throwback to the Team Rocket one from the rocket set, but I don't know if it is. I'd have to compare it. There's that. We also have, oh, wow, we've got a Gardevoir EX. Okay, I don't, what the, it's like a RC. I think there might be another Radiant Collection. I think this might be like the Legendary Treasure set where it's got like a subset within it. So that's probably what they mean when they're talking about the uh, 110. So we've got like the 80 base set and then the 32 from the Radiant Collection. So we got ourselves a gosh dang EX full art right there. I'm not sure how rare these are, but that's still gosh dang cool. And look at the little, Symbols on the side right there. That's kind of interesting. Alrighty. We've also got Ninetales EX. I don't know if I'm getting very lucky or if EXs are just very common in this set. But we've got a double EX pack. Have you guys ever seen two EXs in a single pack? I don't think I have. So there we go. Gardevoir EX and Ninetales EX back to back right there. And behind that, we've still got a Charmander. We've got a Clement. And we have a Pokemon Center Lady, which I think is a reprint. Let's go back. I think I went over that Charmander a little quick. Look at this guy. 
guys are like, what the heck are you doing, Charmander? He's like stealing someone gla someone's glasses right there. But let's go and take a closer look at that Ninetales as well, because I think I went over that one a bit quickly too. That is a nice Ninetales right there. And it's number 13 out of 83. All right. Well, let's get to the second pack, and we'll see if it's just this common. Otherwise, we just got some really great pulls. So here's the Charizard one. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So this is the second out of only two packs here. We're just not going to card trick it again. And once again, we've got a Krabby. So we got a duplicate there. We've got a duplicate Ghastly. We also have... Oh, a Meowth. That's the exact same Meowth from... Oh, gosh. What was it? I think that was from a recent set. I think that might have been from Ancient Origins. So maybe these are reprints. I, I guess it is a reprint set. So let me know if you guys know what sets those cards originally came from. Okay, that I recognize. That is the original Fossil Slowpoke from back in, like... 1999 or whatever, 2000 maybe. And here we have Ima Kuni. Are you kidding me? This guy, dude. Your active Pokemon is now confused. If you guys know Ima Kuni, let me know because this guy is ridiculous. Back in the day, I had Ima Kuni's Doduo. But there you go. We got gosh dang Ima Kuni up in here. That's amazing. I can't believe that's in there. And here we have our Radiant Collections card. It's a gosh dang Charizard. What up, Charizard? I have no idea who that guy is, but it's looking fancy, I guess. Got a snow coat on. All right, to go with that, we've got a Gyarados. So I guess the double EX is probably just really lucky because we got zero EXs that time. Then we've got the Gyarados. We've got a Wobbuffet wearing some lipstick. All righty then. And we've got an Evo Soda. And the last card is a red card. So that's going to be all the cards for this mythical collection. I've got to say, seeing gosh dang two EXs and Imakuni of all things, I'm pretty excited to open some more of these generation packs. And we're only going to have two more for a long time. So we'll probably squeeze the Celebi one in sometime next week. And I guess that's going to be it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.